So today I want to show you what a bygone eggplant tree look like and of course how eggplant grows on trees. This is an eggplant growing on a tree right now. Big size but it needs to get bigger. See, that's an eggplant tree. I'm in the farmer's field right now. See, that's a solid nice eggplant growing. Could go maybe a couple of inches more. And this is how bygone eggplant uh, start pulping up and uh, getting their, their bearings. See, that's uh, eggplants. Eggplants coming up. Different stages as they grow. And uh, pepper. Now these are very, very, very pepper. If you can see clearly, the peppers are all growing up here. Not bad. That's a lot of pepper. Got some ball of fire. There is about two of them here. That's, so that's how pepper tree grow. You know, you have to get patience, treat them good. And they will grow to your likeness or their likeness. You just gotta abide with it and pick it. <laughs> See peppers growing all between between there. Visiting the garden. The farmer's garden. That's pepper again. So that's how a tree is. You got big bhaji there, big bhaji. There goes a small tree. What I don't understand, some small tree grew big at plants. <laughs> don't judge a book by its cover, guys. See, that's the plant right there. It's another plant there. I've just given you a glimpse of a farmer's uh, garden. Also, this is a corn field here. A little corn, you can see corn growing up here. See, that's corn. This is how a corn plant looks, and how the corn begins to fold in and grow. Got some zucchini. And you see that bee there? The bee is good to, to transfer, transparent all the, uh, he's transplanting actually all the, uh, the ingredients from flowers to flowers, trees to trees, get them grow healthy. Just a glimpse of a farmer's garden. And these are little peppers that don't want to give up, needs transplanting in nice soil, yet they don't want to give up. They're growing kind of a stunted right there because they got the same soil. And folks, I just pick up this black pudding, you know. Anybody know what this is? Mango sour. Now, I'm going to heat this up and eat it, oh gosh. Now I'm going to show you something. How, how I'm going to make this for you one day, nice and easy, black pudding, white pudding. Also, well, I already made the mango sour. Um, so I'm going to show you one day how I did it. So I'm going to show you what to do now. At this point, I'm going to put this, heat it up nice on a plate. I'm ready to eat. We're going to eat it together. And this is lamb black pudding. Of course, it's made with rice and lamb blood <laughs> all right it gives good strength you know and i'm gonna add some mango sour inside as a matter of fact the one that i made remember i made some mango sour i'm gonna try that now hey anybody ever eat black pudding my mama delicious i will make it today show you how i make it deliciously now I'm going to just put it in the microwave, maybe, yeah, give it a minute, one minute in the microwave. We're just gonna, we're gonna take it off after a minute. Yeah, I put it a nice full minute. I'm going to show you I'm ready to eat black pudding, lime, and mango sour. I not make black pudding and mango sour. This tastes good also with, um, what do you call it, oh gosh, with uh, hot sauce, but I'm not trying the mango sour for now. All right, guys. So here we go. Then you say eat this piece with the mouth rot and bacon. I wanna make it for you one day. So you black pudding guys. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Nice. Mm-mm-mm. Good dog, is it? Mmm. Mmm. Lamb black pudding. Perfectly done, and of course it tastes just like 
backen mit diesen Gräben. Alright, so. It's just a little clip I'm giving you here. I'll show you how to make black pudding, white pudding, mango sour again. And of course, once again, thank you. I hope you enjoyed this fast clip from Jim Boy's kitchen. We visited the farmer's garden. Show you what I plant, how they look when they grow, as they're growing on the tree. <clears throat> so, until the next dish or the next scene, scenery, Jim Boy's kitchen saying, be kind to someone that's not kind to you and kindness will prevail don't forget subscribe press that like button smash ram punch that notification bell so you could see more of my uploads and I must tell you that if you would like to join me also on a radio station WPTR 1240 AM radio you could stream it if you're far away, you can stream it on your cell phone, your computer, WPTR, 1240amradio.com. Every Sunday morning at 9 o'clock as I bring to you a Caribbean special program for three hours, 9 to 12 every Sunday morning. It's called West Indian Vibrations. Locally, you can listen to me in your car radio, your home stereo, upstate New York at 12.40 a.m. on your dial. Stream it today. Uh, stream it Sunday at 9 o'clock. West Indian Vibrations. And, of course, I will entertain you with much music, information, and all of that. All right? So, for now, Jim Boy's Kitchen saying thank you, everybody.